Yeah, this morning's events were similar to what we see every year on Memorial Day, but here in Oklahoma City, the attendees and organizers stress the importance of viewing today as not just a day off work. Familiar scenes this Memorial Day at Memorial Park Cemetery in Oklahoma City. A reading of names. John Tayar. Harry Weathers. The playing of taps. And the retirement of tattered and worn flags. Veterans issues are at the heart of what we do. Honoring lives is at the heart of what we do um, every day here. And a chance to honor veterans is always a worthy endeavor. But Josh Marler says to him and his staff, the routine of the holiday doesn't take away the significance of today. I just hope that they take time to pause and remember that what we have came at a cost, a cost that many of us were not called to pay but many others were. That includes Mr. Sears, who attended today's ceremony. The Vietnam vet was there to honor his father-in-law. I was surprised when we heard his name right, uh, read. And uh, I thought that was a great, uh, a great tribute to a lot of guys that are laying out there. Sears telling us if he physically could, he'd serve again. You go into combat, you don't know if you're going to come out or not. Many of my compadres didn't. It's just that way. That's what combat is. A powerful reminder that Memorial Day is more than just a day off work. It's the people that made the ultimate sacrifice. Reporting in Oklahoma City, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.